Yo, what is up guys? I'm here back with another episode review time, baby. Today we're going to be reviewing episode, I believe it's episode 20 of Beyblade Burst Sparking. So yeah, let's start. So the episode starts here with Ranjiro asking Lean to battle him and Lean obviously accepted it. Um, And then we can see both bladers launch. And as we see that Ragnarok takes centrally the center, takes it takes quickly the center, it starts with its special move Glide Tornado and manages to push back Lucifer right to the wall, which was really cool to see since Ragnarok uh, has its special move Glide Tornado, which is basically like a mini tornado created by just a little by by created by a tiny Beyblade and imagine and it manages to push back variant lucifer but sadly variant lucifer bounces back at the wall and manages to burst gly ragnarok so yeah um when i saw this first battle i, I wasn't expecting it i wasn't expecting to end up like that because I, I was expecting to i mean lane burst ranjiro's bay but not so quickly but yeah, he we can see uh, preparing for the the next round. Ranjiro asked Lane for a rematch, and Lane actually accepted it. And Ranjiro's getting all fired up here. And then we can see Ranjiro launches his Ragnarok, but he actually pulled two. St uh, he actually made a very strong shoot. He launched so hard that his shoulder got messed up, and and his arm was actually hurting. And we can see that this time Varian Lucifer takes the center first and activates his Varian wall. And Ranjiro with all his what well, with all he's gotten, he act he calls out Ragnarok. And he charges up at Rag uh, Lucifer. He manages to take it out of the center. Just just like Louis did when Louis was up against of lane that he pushed lucifer out of the center and actually was riding on lucifer but then but uh, hopefully we don't see lane um, cr um we can't see lane we can see here that lane is actually getting mad and activates his one of his other special moves which is variant wall press i believe is variant wall press which is was a very impressive and awesome move to see you can see that he manages to close his fist and that's where ragnarok breaks so sadly ranjiro's gly ragnarok breaks so sad because i was actually hoping that Ragnarok wouldn't break and I've heard tons of Baytuber, tons of people say that Ragnarok was gonna break and I also believe that Ragnarok was gonna pre was gonna break but I was just telling myself that no Ragnarok's not gonna break, Ragnarok's gonna survive and Ranjiro is gonna keep blading. Which that this doesn't mean that Ranjiro is gonna quit blading, but it's sad to see that his Gly Ragnarok is destroyed. So here we have uh where Ranjiro goes to his Wild Bay Gang place and we can see that he gets a visit from Aiga. So Aiga is back in the anime. We don't see the new Achilles or we don't see him in the preview of the episode launching Achilles or battling one of the twins for Achilles. So, which is weird because I don't know when we're going to see the new Achilles and we don't have... Uh, pictures of the new Achilles from Tekker from the Tekker Tommy channel. We do have like a little cameo of it. Um, I think I believe that's Achilles. I'm not sure. To me, it looks more like a Spriggan because it, Achilles actually does have blades, and that and what I saw from that picture, Achilles did not that blade blade did not have any blades. But yeah, moving forward, uh, we can see that I got actually asked. Ranjiro to battle him, but and Ranjiro's like, no, I can't. And I was like, what? And Ranjiro actually pulls out his broken Ragnarok and chose and chose his Aiga 
and chose I got to. I'm sorry, I, I got confused. And he tells I got that his Ragnarok is destroyed. As you can see, I got, I got saw his broken Ragnarok, and I just like, what, what, what happened? Who did this? And he tells I got that Lean actually broke his Ragnarok. So yeah, and here we can tell I got talking to himself, saying that he will avenge Ranjiro by the beating Lean on a battle. And we can see her a nice friendship moment between Aiga and Ranjiro, promising that he will get revenge for Ranjiro, and he will avenge him, so Ranjiro can go back to blading and being Aiga's friend. And here we have a little cameo, which which was really cool to see. We can, we can see um, Drum battling Amane, but Amane we can only see like his back, and we can see um his. His rubber band, his band on his head, but we don't actually see him that well. We we can, by we can t I can tell that he still has those same clothes that he had in Gachi, and I can bet that he still has Buching Ashura, so no new Ashura. But still, we can see Drum um preparing himself for the for the legendary festival by training with Amani. We can see Aiga all alone in the forest. Um, we can see all his red aura. Here we see Louis training at the the mysterious island, and here we have free training in his forest meditating. Um, so yeah, so yeah, this is actually where the episode ends. The all the mostly all the legendary bladers are training. But we I we did see a cameo of Silas, but look, but Silas wasn't actually training. He was actually just walking through an airport. So I didn't mind uh, taking a screenshot of that because I I don't see that's kind of important. But yeah, next episode would be all the legendary bladers like going going up ahead. I mean, not all of them. Um, I saw the preview and it was only Drum, Cisco. Louis and he Hikaru and Lean. So there were actually there's gonna be three legendary bladers and Hikaru and Lean. So yeah, I, I believe this is the start of the legendary festival, but I don't know who to who can tell. So yeah, I'm gonna end up the video up here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. What was your favorite part of the episode if you've watched it? And let me know for more battles and more reviews down in the link of the description down below. And the comments down below. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next in my next video.